This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. All right, Tamar Andrews, she's the Director of Early Childhood Education at Temple Isaiah, which is a reform synagogue in L.A., and the Director of the Early Childhood Education Department at American Jewish University, was also working at Kanye's secret private Christian school, and she resigned from her post in the wake of Kanye's anti-Semitic comments. All right. In addition to that, Gap has removed all Yeezy products from the stores due to his uh, ongoing hate speech, anti-Semitism, racism, and hate in any form are, are inexcusable, they said in a statement. And so Gap revealed in September, Gap announced ending its Yeezy Gap partnership. Our former partner's recent remarks and behavior further underscore why. We are taking immediate steps to remove Yeezy Gap product from our stores, and we have shut down YeezyGap.com. You know, it's crazy. I was with... Um, my makeup artist the other day, and she said everything was on sale on the site. And she was like, they have good quality products, and she was buying up a bunch of stuff. All those corporations need to include uh, anti-black in their statements, though, When you know, because it wasn't just anti-Semitic comments, it was anti-black comments as well. So when they need to include anti-black comments in their statements. Yeah, they said anti-Semitism, racism, and hate in any form are inexcusable and not tolerated in accordance with our values. Yeah, add anti-black into that. All right, now Foot Locker, Foot Locker has also removed all Yeezy merchandise from their stores as well. And according to Forbes, Kanye is no longer a billionaire. His net worth has dropped to $400 million after that Adidas deal termination. It's amazing to me the number of people that don't understand uh, valuations. I didn't realize oh. that. I thought people... Knew that well, we seen that with, yesterday. People thought he had a billion dollars cash. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, I didn't. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I saw people saying they took his money and his assets. No. I'm like, what? No, <laughs> y'all don't understand valuations. That's what, well, the, what some people don't because the way they make it seem, this is Kanye's worth. worth. So some people don't get it. You know, your valuation can go up and down depending on stocks and things like that. Um, all right, now Donda Sports. Okay, he does have athletes signed to Donda Sports agency as well. And according to uh, reports, Jalen Brown uh, initially had said that he was going to leave Donda Sports, but then he put out a statement saying, in the past 24 hours, I've been able to reflect and better understand how my previous statements lack clarity in expressing any stance against recent insensitive public remarks and actions. For that, I apologize. And in this, I seek to be as clear as possible. I have always and will always continue to stand strongly against any anti-Semitism, hate speech, misrepresentation, and oppressive rhetoric of any kind. In light of that, after sharing in conversations, I now recognize that there are times when my voice and my position can't coexist in spaces. So he said, I am terminating my association with Donda Sports. I do seek to continue providing mentorship, love, and support to the incredible children, faculty, and young athletes with whom I've been grateful to form bonds and relationships with during my time with Donda Academy. So that is Jalen Brown. All right. Now, in addition to that, um, another uh, athlete, Aaron, Aaron Do- Donald. Donald, has also announced his departure. He said, our family has made the decision to part ways with Donda Sports. The recent comments and displays of hate and anti-Semitism are the exact opposite of how we choose to live our lives and raise our children. Hey, once again, I know those brothers aren't writing those statements themselves, but make sure that your PR doesn't just include anti-Semitic in your statements. Make sure they include the anti-black actions and rhetoric as well. Don't ignore how he insulted his own people, because when we do that, it looks like we don't care about, you know, what he said in regards to us. We have to teach folks how to treat us. If we don't care... Why should anybody else? All bigotry should not be tolerated. So make sure your PR people include uh, anti-black in those statements as well. All right. Now, Steve Lacey has smashed a device that was thrown at him while he was on stage. Now, initially, they said it was just a fan's phone that he smashed. And initial reports claim that after a fan threw their phone at the singer, he asked an innocent bystander to pass them their phone before breaking the device and storming off the stage. But now, according to other concert goers, they're saying that he actually did smash a disposable camera that hit him and bounced off of him on the stage and landed in the crowd. So that's the item that was actually smashed. Here is that happening in real time. All right, now this was in New Orleans, and 
for some reason, people were criticizing him for that, but he did say, my show's been fun as hell. Shout out to the people not throwing disposable cameras at me and just coming to catch a vibe and connect. I had a really good time in NOLA last night. I hate that the beauty of the connection I have with so many people in the crowd gets lost when something negative happens. I don't believe I owe anyone an apology. Maybe I could have reacted better. Sure, always. I'm a student of life, but I'm a real person with real feelings and real reactions. I'm not a product or a robot. I am human. Yeah, how are you supposed to react to somebody throwing something at you on stage? Especially a damn camera. I like, mean, you're you a fan, you're at like, my show, why are you throwing things? Yeah, what do you expect you him to do? You could injure somebody. Like, like, what do you want him to do? Take the camera, take a picture of himself, then pass throw, it back to you? throw it back in. <laughs> like, what no. do you want him to do? No. People look crazy nowadays, bro. All right, and Chris Angel said that his heart was in his mouth the moment that he realized there was something wrong with Genuine when they were having that rehearsal for the Magic Stand. If you guys recall, Genuine actually passed out and lost consciousness while he was rehearsing. And so Chris Angel told the Daily Mail, I didn't know what the hell was going on. And here is the original when Genuine uh, spoke on that incident. What's up, y'all? Listen, <laughs> that's funny. That was a month ago, man. Um, I guess, uh, you know, the episode is probably about the uh, air or whatever, but um, now your boy is good. Superman, y'all already know that. It goes on. We good. <laughs> Thank y'all for um, caring and all that. You know, I appreciate that. But your boy is good. All right. All right, Chris Angel said that he was shocked how viral the video went when it was leaked. He said, honestly, it showed the world that there was a real danger in doing the stunt. Genuine was fine thanks to the safety protocols that we had in place. He was holding his breath underwater in a glass box. And then he was slamming on the sides of the box because he was in distress. Chris Angel would have killed Genuine. He would have gotten jumped by big women who enjoy male strippers everywhere because Pony is the male stripper anthem. Okay. All right, well, that is your rumor report. Big women love Pony. Big women love Genuine. They love to see uh, male strippers dancing to Genuine Pony. FYI, right. everybody loves Pony. Guys, y'all all do a little something when the song comes on. You do a little wine yeah, immediately. Yeah, but, but because of Magic Mike, uh, you I know. actually don't play Pony. I play So Anxious. I don't I don't. No, but pony. you know if that song drops, y'all immediately do the little body roll. I don't know who you're talking about, Angelique. Put on <laughs> If you put on Pony right now, y'all can't help it. You do a little roll. I don't really play I don't Pony. Who these guys you I, be I around? Play, so you can't help it. But I know that's the male scripper anthem. I know that. You tell us, girl. And big, big women everywhere with a jump, Chris Angel, every time I, every time he saw him. I'm just a bachelor. He even having to do some real disappearing acts. My goodness. To escape. All right, we got front page news next. What are we talking about? Well, let's talk about these debates that are really important that are happening right now as we're getting ready for midterm elections. All right, we'll get into that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Good morning. 